All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Try this intro again. Um, today we're going to be um, doing some more uh, feminine voice stuff. Um, and um, my voice isn't doing too well um, today. Is it ever when I really want it to be? Um, but yeah, no. Um, so today we're going to be watching, um, this video and, uh, this trans voice vocal warm up. I do this every day video. Um, and then we're, yeah, we're just going to see where it goes. But first, um, My um, voice therapist said, "You gotta, well, I gotta follow these rules." <laughs> uh, vocal hygiene. What is vocal hygiene? Vocal hygiene is a term used to describe habits which support a healthy, strong voice throughout your life. <clears throat> Just as good oral hygiene can help protect your teeth and age, uh, vocal hygiene can help you preserve your resonant voice into your 60s, 70s, and beyond. Uh, good voice habits are also used by speech therapists to help rehabilitate a damaged voice. What does good vocal hygiene consist of? Increase consumption of liquids. Aim for a minimum of eight ounce, eight, eight, eight ounce glasses of water and non-caffeinated, non-acidic beverages per day. Chewing gum or sucking on a lozenge, uh, lozenge can help lubricate a very dry throat. Avoid alcohol. Alcohol dehydrates the larynx, which causes the larynx to produce mucus that will quickly thicken and need to be cleared. Increase awareness of throat clearing. Habitual throat clearing can result in accumulation of fluid in vocal tissue, fold tissue, which in turn makes vocal folds more susceptible to bruising and irritation. It can also cause pain and affect your voice. I really don't want to read all of. I really don't want to read all of these. Um. There's a moderate conservative level of loudness don't whisper never shout okay don't smoke i don't smoke avoid irritating environments uh auto exhaust strong smells chemicals know the effects of your posture this is a big one i've learned um the position or posture of the head neck and upper torso and the amount of tension there affect the vocal mechanism Exercise is helpful, but not to be be sure not to grunt. Um, evaluate singing. Do not sing when you're hoarse. Avoid spicy food. Uh, limit the amount of talking. If your voice feels strained, it's important to signal you should give it a rest. Yeah. Breathe. Don't talk faster or push words out with strain so that you can finish your entire in one breath. Yeah, makes sense. Alright, um, now that we went over the rules, I guess we should, we should, can, we should start the actual homework. Hello! In keeping with our theme of easy, effortless voicing, I'm going to run you through a quick five minute or less, knock on wood, <laughs> voice warm up that you can do every morning. Just like a runner would stretch and kind of start out slow before they ran a marathon, you have to do the same thing with your voice. So we're going to start with a little bit of stretching, move into some voice work, and then start to expand the range that you're using through um, some pitch movement. 
So grab a seat if you don't have one, get comfortable. And the first thing you're gonna do is take your right hand, place it over your left collarbone. You're gonna place your hand over your collarbone, take your opposite okay. hand, layer it on top. You're gonna put, with your head oh. slightly forward and your chin tucked down, you're gonna put a little bit of pressure in towards your collarbone, just a slightly, and then you're gonna do a slight drag down. Once you have that skin and that muscle kind of pinned <clears throat> in, you're gonna take your head yeah. at an angle but not straight back at an angle going back with your mouth open like this. And then you're gonna quickly close your mouth, hold it for two seconds, one, two, and then release. We're gonna do this five times. So watch again okay. if you need to, or join in if you're ready. So hands over the collarbone, head goes down, mm -hmm. a slight press with my hands, head back, mouth open, close the mouth, one, one. two. Do three more of those, head back, mouth open, Close, one, two. Okay. Two more. One, two. Last one. One, two. As you close your mouth, you should feel a bit of a pull under your hand, like it's yeah. your muscles are trying to pull yeah, away from your that. hand, and you should feel a nice stretch on this exposed side of your neck. Great, same thing, opposite side. I'm getting red already. All right, hand on collarbone, other one on top. Down, back with mouth open. Close, one, two. Again. Close, one, two. Number three. You might notice, close, one, two. two. One side is tighter than the other. It's really common. All right. Mm -hmm. One, two. Good, last one. All right. One, two. All right, next we're gonna go straight okay. back. So you're gonna take both of your hands and layer them one over the other right here at the bottom of your neck. Okay. We don't wanna hit our actual neck or our trachea. We wanna be right at the top of your collarbones. So both hands All here, right. head slightly one. forward. Nice press in, head goes back. Close mouth, one, two. Do four more. One, two. One, one, two. Two. one, two, two. Good, last one. One, one two. two. Okay. Shake that off. All right, that's the um, that stretch easy. part of it. Now we're gonna move into some voicing. So the sound that you're gonna use for the voicing part of it is going to be a lip trill. Um, if you if you have difficulty with those, stick that? around for the end and I'll teach you how to troubleshoot how to do a lip trill. But for now, we're just gonna hold out a lip trill at a comfortable pitch, something that's nice and easy for you, right in your speaking range for about eh, 10, 15 seconds, however long you can do it. So we're gonna do it three times total. So it'll sound some, something like this. Really? Hold it out as long as you can. We're gonna do three. So that was one. The end, and I'll teach you how to troubleshoot how to do a lip trill. But for now, we're just gonna hold out a lip trill at a comfortable pitch, something that's nice and easy for you, right in your speaking range for about eh, 10, 15 seconds, however long you can do it. So we're gonna do it three times total. So it'll sound some, something like this. Let's do it. What am I doing? The trumpet? Yeah. Hold it out as long as you can. We're going to do three. So that was one. continue using the lip trail but this okay. time we're going to play around some pitch movement as well give a nice stretch okay, so it's and also, up the lips. Um, okay. some smooth warm-ups all right that makes kind of sense so the first set that we're going to do we're going to go up in pitch so start 
pretty neutral, pretty close to your speaking range. You're gonna do, I'm gonna show you first. So you're gonna do five sets of four. It'll sound like this. Good. Now the next two, I'm gonna show you first. Okay, let's. Some smooth warm ups. So the first set that we're gonna do, we're gonna go up in pitch. So start pretty neutral, pretty close to your speaking range. You're gonna do, I'm gonna show you first. So you're gonna do five sets of four. It'll sound like this. Good. Now the next time you're gonna go a tiny bit higher. I only have high. <laughs> same exact thing, this time going down. Even if you're trying to raise or brighten or darken your voice, you always want to cross train. So it doesn't matter what you're shooting for, do both up and down. All right, let's go down. <laughs> all right really quick That's if you have difficulty lip trilling this is for you if not skip forward like 30 seconds if it's hard for you to lip trill remember three key things one lower air pressure don't try to push really hard two nice and relaxed lips don't push them together at all close your lips as gently as you can and then start exhaling to get some movement number three if all else fails take your hands place them next to your cheeks next to your mouth, on your cheeks, and a slight pressure in. This is to stop that air from getting into the cheeks, because often when you try to lip trail, you'll end up doing this. All your lips go, or kind of sputtering out. So hands next to the mouth to help direct that air where we want it to go, right to the lips. Wonderful. So. If this was useful for you and you want to dive a little bit deeper, that's what we do in the Undead Voice Lab. There's a link in the description to get on the waitlist. Enrollment's opening again this fall, and I hope you have a Friday. Oh, do these every morning. It helps with morning voice. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't know about that. Like. That's like. That was weird. And that's all she wanted me to do this week. I don't know if I like that. I really wanted some more. Um, I really wanted something more difficult than just doing lip warm ups. What the? I. Did you know that your voice is controlled by a set of muscles and to transition the voice, all you have to do. Let's just take this three minute video and let's see where it goes. All you have to do is to learn to work out those muscles in a new way so that they can create a new sound. Sounds simple, right? Then why so hard? <laughs> let's use an analogy to try to understand. Let's say up until now you've identified as right-handed. Your whole life you've been using your right hand to throw a ball, pick your nose, and to write. You're super coordinated with your right hand, and it's a habit now. Yeah, okay, I see. Same thing with so your voice. So everything that you do, you do with the right. Then, at some point along the way, you realize you don't really identify as, and that super are you trying to be unhappy? Or in this, or exercises every day. To create a whole new voice, pop up workshop, oh, click the link in the description your... to RSVP for nope. the event, and we'll see. Selling your shit. Um, I have no money. <laughs> um, I have.
have no money. So, yeah. No, I have no money, so, like, I can't afford to do... I can't even afford to do my own voice therapy lessons. I have to go at, like, a discount, like, college thing. So, that was weird. I don't know... That was weird. Like, wait, let me just double check to see if that was, like, it. Because, like, that's weird. Um, attached to this vocal hygiene f and a link for homework for this week. This week, I want you to focus on relaxation techniques we did during our session and warm up your voice. This is something you can do every morning. Oh, okay. Nope. Hello. It's just, yeah, it was just that video. All right. Um, hmm. That's weird. That's like super weird. Like that's weirder than like weird. Very confused. Anyway, um, I think that's like it for tonight. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because, like, I've been trying to get higher in. I've been trying. I'm trying to push my voice up higher at work now, um, even if it's like just a little bit. And well, since I work in a library, it doesn't really matter too much um, because there's very little time when I'm speaking. So yeah, it isn't working out the best, but like. <laughs> I'm trying. Anyways, um, yeah, um, so my vocal coach is trying to tell me not to do as long of videos as I normally do, but I'm like, I think I'm okay until like the 30 minute mark, 35, and, but even then she says not to do it that long. And I'm like, well, how am I supposed to train myself? And I've been on this for like a year now. I've been on this journey for almost a year now. So like, when do I actually use my voice? <laughs> um, or like, when I try, how, if I, if I haven't been able to use it for like a year, I've been using it for like a year. When does it become mine? When I can control it whenever? Like, aren't I supposed to be using my voice more? And yeah, no, I can understand like vocal strain and me constantly doing practicing stuff. But like, I kind of pushed through it. And yeah, it might not be the best, but I'd rather have more practice than no practice. And then I take like a day off because I work in the library. I'm not going to talk to anyone. <sighs> but yeah. So anyways, um... So, anyways, um, I think this is going to be it for tonight. We're at 20 minutes. I have no idea what else to do today. And I kind of feel depressed and just mad. And I don't know. 
it's just been a long day. And most of it is trying to not say I told you so to someone and holding that back because job firing and <laughs> unemployment is not something I want. anyways I guess I'll be sending off now um, have a wonderful afternoon evening night and I'll catch you guys next time where hopefully we get to do kind of more than just deep breathing exercises I mean I did oh what the fuck we did we did do some here um, but I find this kind of annoying this is the same thing I get every semester. Yeah, sure, there's different forms of it, but it's basically the same thing. Don't smoke. Rest your voice when you're feeling bad. And then also, no alcohol. I mean, like, alcohol, drugs, um, chemicals posture and don't overuse it like I mean kind of easy to figure out and I don't know maybe I'm just bad at taking hints but I think I'm good like honestly I don't know if I could ever I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm going to keep trying to do this regularly at work. So my voice can kind of like go up more and stay at a maintained level. I just. I need to find a new job. <laughs> and I know streaming's not going to cut it ever <laughs> because that's it's only a temporary job and I don't know I feel like I need to do something else with my life but I don't know if I'm scared or don't know how to make like the the first step in doing it because I've been one at my job now since the pandemic and after four years I mean I kind of like the place I, I've I've grown as a person there and I'm taking classes there and I might post oh, shoot I have to post my homework but Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I have to post my homework. I have to do all that stuff. So I have to get off. Um, but I'll post what I did in school um, on here, uh, on my Twitter. Twitter? Not Twitter, right? No, X. It's X, formerly known as Twitter. Elon Musk and him using like a one letter. I really hate that. I hate stupid people today. I really do. I hate stupid people. I hate snitches. I hate idiots. Idiots are my cause and concern for the rest of this week. And the reason to try and hold back and I told you. So anyways, um, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I'll catch you guys next time where, again, hopefully we have something better than this. I don't know exactly where we're going with this, but hopefully we do better. And hopefully, I don't know, I think I'm...
feeling more depressed lately, and I guess part of it is because I haven't been on here as much. And I've been dealing with chemistry homework, which is so lovely. No, it's not. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time, probably next week, or maybe, you know, if I'm lucky, I'm not going to be lucky. Probably, yeah, I'll probably catch you next week on Tuesday again. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys then. Bye. <laughs>